Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 7, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos and let's get to it. So this market really showed um, where we probably are going uh, to in the near future. So we're looking at the Nasdaq at this current stage trading at the 14 point five K and we're down more than two percent at one point it was down nearly three percent and that's a fairly big deal it was forming a flag pattern but that is kind of gone out the window at this point if we look at technical indicators first of all we can see that the MACD is about to cross the signal line that is a bearish uh, move we saw here when they crossed the last time we got this a major rally to the upside if we get the same thing then we will most likely test the very bottom and if that breaks then we're looking at a significant drop to the downside so this was technically a bear rally in a in a, a bull rally in the bear market so if we scroll out we can see that we were in a massive bull market for the last two years and then we broke this trend line and now we're technically in a bear market so this was was technically a bull ra bull rally and if this 50 moving average here breaks then it kind of opens the door to the very bottom yet again technical news look terrible for this market as i said macd is crossing the signal line indicating bearish momentum stochastic is bearish and so is the rsi so if the 50 moving average break it breaks then we are looking at a drop towards the 13 K. To the other side, if we break above the highs here, which should, would be a very bullish move, and then we are there's nothing that's basically preventing this to go back to the highs. So, looking at the S&P 500, very similar here. However, it did rally at the end of the session. So there were actually buyers at the end of this session, and that's kind of encouraging. Or people just uh, taking profit. Uh, we can also say that if we look at macd it has crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum same thing here last time we crossed we had this major rally of roughly 15 percent to the upside stochastic is also bearish and so is rsi so momentum has definitely changed to the downside however there's a lot of um, support underneath 50 moving average here we may bounce from the 50 moving average that is possible but if the 50 moving average breaks then we're kind of looking at a drop towards 4,150, give or take. To the upside, if we manage to take out this candlestick there, which is roughly 4,630, and then there's nothing that basically is preventing this to going back to the old time highs. So let's look at the Dow Jones. And the Dow Jones, very similar. We did break below the 50 moving average. And usually when it breaks below, it also gets follow through. So also here, MACD has crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum. Stochastic is entering bearish territory and the RSI is bearish as well with a lot of room to the downside. The same goes for um, these uh, three indices. There's a lot of room to the downside before this basically gets oversold. And therefore it is possible for this to basically drop to the very bottom. If you manage to take out the st uh, high, uh, this candlestick here which is at uh, 35.3k then we're looking at a, a rally towards a 35.8k and then the old all time highs yet again if you look at the, the european market we can see that the nas the, the dax is looking uh, terrible this is absolutely ready to just jump ship so at this current stage we have broken below the middle of the bullish band so the next uh, support should be around 13.6k which is the bottom of the bullish band usually bounces from there back towards the middle or the 50 moving average so what we're actually looking at here is that we fell rallied up towards the 61.8 fibonacci retracement and then we got rejected we also got rejected here at the 50 moving average so both the fibonacci retracement and the, the 50 moving average came into play and this looks like it's about to tumble to the downside so if we break below uh, 13.6 then 12.4 that is technically possible at this point it's not a lot of room to the downside so we will fall a rally and then fall most likely 
However, if we manage to take out that candlestick, which is at the 14.9K, then the 200 moment average comes into play, and then we have to break above that. Don't really see that at this current stage, as MACD is about to cross the signal line, Stochastic is in bearish territory, and the RSI is pointing to, uh, uh, to the downside. So if we look at the WIX, VIX has completely turned around, uh, rallied up toward the middle of the bullish band and then got rejected. So it was fairly, it was around 6-7% up today. However, if you look at technical indicators for the VIX, they are definitely turning around. So there is a negative correlation between the VIX and the indices stocks as well. When this rallies, stocks fall. When this basically falls, uh, the stock rally. And we have been seeing the VIX falling from uh, 36.4 all the way down towards 20. And considering um, all the risk that is out there at this current stage, has fairly low volatility uh, when considering interest rates, inflation, war, and so on. So the VIX will most likely go higher, breaking above the 50 moving average. And then we may see this go back towards uh, uh, 35, 30, give or take. And that will definitely uh, cause a lot of volatility in the indices and stocks. But this is ready to turn around. It is indicating that that momentum is changing to the upside. If we look at the 10 year, we can see that it got completely, it rallied significantly um, towards uh, 2.6, which is fairly, we're almost back at the level uh, in 2019 we're not that far away this is up at the 3.2 uh, and uh, considering this flag pattern that we basically broke out uh, 0.9 to the upside is plausible at this point that's basically the measure move but this is getting very overstretched we are overbought in the in um, in the u.s treasury the 10 year and uh, therefore a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band or probably even the 50 moving average before going higher could be possible. Uh, MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is still bullish, but the RSI is also bullish, but it is in overbought territory. And we're at the top of the bullish band creating this shooting star. If you get a red candlestick here tomorrow, then we may well test this area again before going higher. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.